Alright guys, we are back with this cool game that we love to call... Hmm. Senokai. Ooh! Look at him! He ran Senokai... Senokai Seki. A.K.A. Trails of Color Steel. Or the Living Heroes, whichever you want to go by. And, uh... Last episode, we had a pretty, uh... Pretty interesting episode. We, uh... Took our practical exam. And we got sent on our field study day one, and uh, <clears throat> we got an interesting pairing. I say interesting because our girl, my girl Laura, is with us. And uh, I said this from the very beginning. You know, once Laura is in my party, that's it. So I am happy, as you could probably hear in my voice. Ooh, hello. She's pretty, Annabelle. It truly is the very image of a of a commoner's logic. I mustn't complain, though. Having shelter from the elements is all I should be asking. Oh, she's pretty. Okay. Ooh. Sarah's having a grand old time over at the counter if you're looking for her. You see her head? <laughs> she really conducts herself disgracefully. Sometimes I should be used to it by now, but <sighs> seems like our instructor is famous for all the wrong reasons. Indeed, part of me expected as much stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Merchant Maurice, munch munch. The food here is really as good as they say. As they say, things are going well on the business front too. So my name will be spreading like wildfire. Wildfire is coming up, <laughs> but it's for the right reason. <laughs> oh man, you're the key to being a successful merchant is knowing what the other party wants. I see, I see. How does one go about that though? Learning that requires listening to tales of past achievements first. You see, my she skill when it comes to dealing with others allowed me to become very popular with the ladies. As a result, I was able to become close to more women more women than you could possibly fit in this room. Wow. Uh, this story is of no interest to me whatsoever. Uh, my boy, you should be trying to listen to that. But you know what? That ain't none of my business. But look at my girl, though. Look at them. You know what? I'm not gonna say it. Damn it! You just came in my way. I was trying to talk to my girl. Get, get. Damn it! I'm trying to get me a good view. Well, this kind of is a good view already. <laughs> ah! Yeah, look at her. Nothing hits the spot quite like a cold beer. You know we are behind you, right? She looks like she's having the time of her life. Right. How many pints has she downed already? It's not even new. She don't care. Oh, you kids are still here? I'll just be hanging back and enjoying myself. So go on ahead and get started. Don't mind me. Damn, do you do you hear her? <laughs> yeah, she's that drunk as fuck. We have questions for you though. What's with these field study tasks? I'm glad they're not as difficult as I was expecting, but they're just so. Well, it makes sense you'd have some doubts. <laughs> you only need to do the ones it says are required, though. Feel free to just ignore the rest if you want. I don't care. Oh, hell no. Got me fucked up. It's up to you how much or how little you want to do. She. Hmm? We doing all of it. She. Mm -mm. S stop being so irresponsible and... Wait. Wow. These kinds of decisions are as much a part of our field study as the tasks themselves. Oh, mm -hmm. what? B what do you mean? <laughs> you have two days. Trista isn't far from here, so you'll be returning to the Academy tomorrow evening. Until then, you can spend your time here, however the four of you see fit. Every decision rests on your shoulders. I won't be forcing you to do a thing. Why is she so hot? <laughs> Why is she so good looking? Alright. <laughs> so, she kind of tried to pull the fast one on us. That one was me have to do the, uh, the optional shit, but, uh... <clears throat> I ain't trying to hear all that.
Okay, so what's up? You have this look in your eyes like you piece something together. Well, does this relate in some way to our free day this past week? Specifically to your activities during that time. Hmm? Oh? Yeah, now that you mention it, exactly. Spent this past free day doing various tasks on behalf of the student council. And while one of them did involve going back into that old schoolhouse, the rest were just simple requests for assistance from the locals. In other words, exactly the sort of thing we've been asked to do here. And by the time I'd taken care of everything, I felt like I'd learned a lot about Trista in the academy. So I think we've been given a similar task here for a similar reason. That would definitely make sense. I mean, all I know about Celtic is what I've read. There's probably a lot we can learn by actually coming here and helping people out like this. Indeed, the land of Erebonia is quite vast. This may be an invaluable opportunity to gather local knowledge of a place we, we may otherwise never have visited. Yeah, exactly. So whatever is in sundry things Instructor Sarah may have planned for us, I say we just work our way down the list while immersing ourselves in Celtic culture. Taking in as much as we can. Sounds good to me. Come me in. <laughs> this actually sounds pretty exciting when you put it that way. Shall we depart then? <laughs> During field study periods, the party is assigned a variety of tasks, much like a free on free days. Details of these tasks can be confirmed via the quest tab. When all tasks where the request mark have been completed, the story will advance. Note, however, that any quest list with a short time limit will be invalid when this happens. And that's why, that's why I said what I said. Remember the last time? Many part of this. With a comic quote, they're all short. Okay. <coughs> They're all short. But, um, if anything, we definitely want to do the common code. We definitely want to do the for the common code thing. never change, do you, Sarah? Come on, don't give me that. What kind of person would throw away the opportunity to enjoy being this good? <laughs> That's probably the last thing she should, that should be coming from an instructor's mouth. <laughs> Seriously. The field studies definitely seem like it'll be hard work for you all. Here, take this. Hopefully it'll get you through it. Sweet cookie. Interesting. Oh, these look delicious! Thank you very much! <laughs> no worries. Take this recipe too, it's nice and simple. Oh wow, I feel like I'm playing Vesperia! Wow, recipe for a sweet cookie. Wow, it's like I'm playing Vesperia! What the hell? all the people here. Yeah, it's really bustling. I guess there is a reason people come from all over to visit. <laughs> look, look over there. There's even someone performing. <laughs> I can see myself spending hours here. I see no harm in taking this opportunity to shop, as long as it's done in the process of completing our field study task. <laughs> yeah, it would be a waste not to see what, what, see what all this town has to offer. 
We we'll just have to make sure not to get carried away. So this is the renowned Grand Market of Keldic. It truly does live up to its status on Baragonia's most important events. Visiting such culturally important locations is both one of the pleasures I, as a noble, can experience. Oh my, how wonderful. Tagging along with Father on his boring trip seems to have been worth it after all. There's even jewelry in first stores too. <laughs> Just where should I spend some of my money first? Whoa! Wow! Check out all these stalls! Yeah, right. I ended up getting a free book while I was shopping earlier. I already got too much to carry home as it is though. Oh well, it's fine. You can have it. Really? Vampire Hunter. Oh wow. My name is Rose. I imagine that our time together will be brief, brief but I look forward to working nonetheless. Alphonse? Wow. Get the fuck out of here. His name is Alphonse. You know what? Can't do it. Can't do it. No. His name is Alphonse. Spring related goods around. I myself have high quality lace based fabrics, cashmere shawls. <laughs> They're a bit pricey, but don't worry, I won't charge you for window shopping. Huh. Oh, the lace at that stall has a really pretty design. Merchant Marco. Hey there, sorry, but I'm still setting up shop here. <coughs> I had a bit of an issue getting stuff sorted out, but it's cool. I got this spot right by the entrance, so I'll be getting all the customers either way. Hey, hear you a lot. You wouldn't, you, oh yeah, he's Scottish. Happen to be from Thor's, would ye? Yes, I knew it. My daughter started there. Yes! I was just about to say that! Her name's Becky. She talks just like you. She's a wee cheeky girl whose head is always thinking about Mira. But well, we try to get along with her. Be a spotter at the academy. <laughs> we'll do. Good luck with your sales. Hmm, I wonder what would be a good present for my wife. It's always so hard to choose when there's so much available. Tell me. Oh, there's even some nice symptom based crafts from Liberal here. They're somewhat different than the jewelry that and the like made in Bear Heart. Berea Heart. <laughs> Maybe I'll purchase some and pretend I took a relationship to Liberal. But Bear. Wow. This person's name is Gosh. Wow. I'm a farmer, you see, so. I'm here to sell my produce off to one of the merchants here. Guys called Lemon. Lyman, probably. And we got a solid business relationship. Nice guy, always giving out freebies and stuff. <laughs> welcome, welcome. We got plenty of good straight from Liberal here. <laughs> All the latest and trendy liberal crafts and horrible goods are right here waiting for you to buy. It's not all though, we've got some acerbic tomatoes, which are spreading through as a mirror like wildfire. Uh-oh. Looks like we need to buy these books. And I do not. I do not have it. I don't have anything. Alright, so let's try to buy these books. Prevents blind. I 
Ah, oh, man, that sucks. Oh, the P card. The P card push. Remember the little P cards that were in the East 8? That's hilarious to see that. Messing it up. So it looks like we've done it. Oh, so many people. Chad Lowe, are you students perhaps? <laughs> oh, it's rather lively here, isn't it? Please feel free to look around. <laughs> Come back here and to rest if you find yourself tuckered out from all the walking. For free, too. Hey, he threw in that word, free. Phew, I'm tired of crying so much. I think I'll just sit a spell and rest my feet. Come on. Hey, that violin, though. The wind did blow across my face. It soothed my sorrow with its warm embrace. Oh, he's singing. I've never, I've never heard a song like this before. I like it. <laughs> Sounds almost like an imp improvised ballet. Hello there. Are you interested in my music, perhaps? <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't mean to bother you. Who are we not? Or you seem to be someone who, who is smiled upon by music much like myself. We create beautiful melodies simply to by walking or singing. It causes tears of joy, and we summon birds through, through mere whistles. I assume these experiences are coming for you. I think that's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> he's an odd one to say the least. I'm guessing he's a traveling performer. Oh man. Okay, so we're we've been here. We've been in where the cock in. So let's check Arvin's arms and horrible effect. Oh, Samus is a guy, huh? Really? <laughs> Welcome. This is the shop's horrible factory. Oh, you wouldn't happen to be the students with doors, would you? That's correct. We're here in regards to your request. It involved replacing the orbit light and a road lamp on the highway, right? Could we ask for the details? Sure. Let's get right to it. As you read, one of the road lamps of the western highway stopped working the other day. And the cause of that is the orbit light inside of it breaking. So basically, I want you all to go switch the broken orbit light before I do. Speaking of which, here you go. Alright? So. So all that's required of us is to replace the broken one with this, right? <laughs> yep, it's about the size of it. So, where exactly on this western highway is it? Once you're in the highway, keep heading north until you see a place called Lenaria. That sounds so familiar to me. I don't know what it is yet. Lenaria, or was, it, was it Lenaria or Lemuria? I don't know. But I know it was an, it was an RPG to get played. Lenaria Major Park. There's a windmill in front of it that you can't miss. The lamp's near there. Make sure you check the maintenance panel to be sure that it's the right one. It'll have B02 written on it. <laughs> near the windmill, in front of the nature park. Understood. Is it safe to leave such work in our hands? I believe none of us has any experience related to this. <laughs> Don't worry. Pretty much anyone can do it. All you're doing is taking the light out and simply putting in a new one. Simple. I guess the most difficult thing about it is remembering the code to unlock it. But you can just write that down. There's a code, give me my pen and my paper. <clears throat> There's a code? Yeah, you'll need to input it so you can open the maintenance map. 
Let's see here. The code for B2 is 466-515. I can kind of remember that. 466-515. Got it. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention. The light from the row lamps actually repels monsters. So when it goes out, we're fucked. So in other words, in places where there's no light, there's much more likely to appear. So keep an eye out when you're replacing it. The last thing he wants is to be caught off with hard by monsters. I see, thanks for the warning. It's pretty much it then. Would you mind heading out to do it now? Leave it to us. Let's go then. Any bright ideas, huh? I think he said it was west. Ooh. Hmm. And who might you be? I don't recall seeing any of you around here before. <laughs> Do you have some sort some form of identification? Soldiers. Wait, I think I recognize those uniforms. For students from Thor's military academy. We're currently visiting Celtic as part of his field study. Thors? You mean THE Thors? Now that you mention it, I do recognize the end. My apologies for any rudeness. We're members of the cruising provincial, provincial army. Our main duty is to keep the peace in Celtic. Provincial army? Isn't that... The military forces are operated by the ruling lord of each province. Charged with maintaining security, they function, they function as a secondary unit, separate from the formal imperial army. Hmm. I've never heard of any field study program at Thor's. Seems a little early in the year for something like that, too. But many graduates of your academy currently serve in our ranks, so you be sure to uphold the academy's good name. Don't do anything you shouldn't. Thank you very much. We'll be sure not to let you down. And glad to hear it. Take care now, and keep your noses clean. <laughs> we will. That concludes our patrol. Back to the guardhouse, man. Yes, sir! Seems pretty cool. Man, he was scary. They're the cruising provincial army. Doesn't that mean they ruled by it? Yeah. He's his family, the Alvarez. Celtic is in the northern part of their territory, after all. I think it would be best for us to keep out of their way. We should return to the task at hand. So it looks like we're trying to leave. Celtic house. I see we should go to the Celtic Chapel for some. Oh. Oh. Do you hear this? This music, this is amazing. Oh, all these windmills sure make the town feel pretty laid back. That's kind of reminded me of a uh, true. This scenery is surprisingly relaxing. It is. It's kind of reminded me of Valkyria Chronicles. It's reminded me of Rule. That's what it's reminded me of. Now's our chance. We can do this. We've, got, we've never been able to, uh... Wait, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Death? Cargo. He's a, he's a snail, basically. Yeah, boy. I can do this.
Flamber? Mm. Turn to flames! Burn! <laughs> okay. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. Got it. Ooh, Earth is gonna kick its ass. Land dwelling Mollish monster with the hard show. Seals life from his prey. Ooh. My turn. Oh my baby Laura. That's what I've been waiting on. Fireball, and she's got armor breaker. <laughs> Oh my god, my He's confu he was confused? Okay, we gotta attack that dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, man, that thing is gonna be a problem, huh? Oh, <laughs> Damn, Laura. He oh, she's got Golden Spear like a uh, Usus. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, what? Boy, missed? I've never seen him miss before like that. That Golden Spear is pretty goddamn nice. We should keep going. <laughs> Getting U materials, and those U materials actually help us customize our weapons, but we gotta keep that in mind. Is that a treasure chest? Yes, it is. Goddamn, right? Ooh, hello, hello. Back at Trista. Okay. Oh no! How did I allow this? Zero arts. Hey. Go. So now we can kind of just can we get them both? Yeah. We still don't even have to move. That should delay that. Laura's gonna get a crit. Uh, your boy can actually use detector. Now that I'm thinking about it. Cause uh, we don't know anything about these crows. Not much Now bleed. Cool. Right. Now, uh, Laura. Is going to uh She's got an S craft? Why does she have this? Why does she have this already? Why does she have that already? Why does she have that? <laughs> if I was to use that right now, that's gonna kill every goddamn thing. Yo, oh my god, Shatter. I don't understand. That crit, though. Is he gonna hit him? Yeah, he's still in the same. Nice damage. Okay. Not, not a lot of damage. What? He missed? Oh man, that's crazy. You're right, Miss Fetish. You should have missed this. My turn. Is everybody okay? Mm 
fresh air, huh? Treasure chest. Oh, baby, that thing's fast. Let me get I can't Now's our chance. It. We can do I this. I cannot believe I did it. There. Oh, they played. Patterns. He's our magic lens, <laughs> so to speak. Got it. So it is very right. weak to fire. So uh, the girl Laura is gonna go in with fire bolt. Damn, she was AOE. Uh -huh. huh. He's about to have uh, zero arts. He's about to have zero arts. Huh. Oh, he didn't do much with that. Hey, that missed though. Turn to flames. Burn. Nice. Of course. You still oh. have a lot of training to do. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a treasure chest. Yeah, and it looks like a good one too. EP one. Hmm. Oh yeah, I couldn't open any of her uh, lots either. Let's just see data on enemies yet to be analyzed. Now we don't want to do that. I don't think we want to do that. Because it'll get kind of confusing to know what we've done and we haven't done just yet. You know what I mean? Things are, but I had to fight them. There. Down. An opening. Ooh, she's the perfect right. person to be linked up with. Huh. Yep, zero hearts. That casting time. Bye bye. Nice. Oh god. Oh my god, heal Elisa. Jesus. And she's poison? Oh my gosh. That sucks. He's poison. My turn. King Dragonfly, huh? Oh go. my god. Dude in that spray. <clears throat> you gotta go. Right. Damn. And our healer is about to be dead. Oh my gosh. That just did a 
lot of goddamn damage. Not good. Arcus activate. Huh? Of course. Yo, wait. Some wait. What's going on? It looks like when we're poisoned. Oh shit, Laura. Oh shit. Looks like when we're poisoned, they don't. They're not losing HP. My turn. Wait, she did. I think she just did. I think she just did. I'm. I'm just. I just didn't notice it. I don't know. There. Go. An opening. Your swordsmanship gets better with every battle. Your I've got a way to go to get to your level. Bro, that is a dope picture. I think I'm gonna use that for a thumbnail. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Antidote, we definitely need that, actually. Man. That kind of, that got kind of dicey. Alright, so it looks like for the most part, we want a old baby. <laughs> we want a old baby. Definitely standing guard. <laughs> Looks like we're not getting past here while that thing is around. I don't think it'll go down without a fight, no doubt. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to let us sneak up behind, sneak up on it from behind. That does probably pose a problem. We're left with no choice but to overwhelm it. Sheer force. Thor is able to use an S craft. S crafts require 100 CP and can be used at any time. And that is definitely why I didn't use it. And oh my god. Aircrafts are powerful combat techniques that consume all your CP. At least 100 CP is required to use an aircraft. And their strength is boosted if used at 100. By pressing a triangle in a direction on a D-pad in battle, you have to have a character perform an aircraft even when it's not their turn. Here we go! Yo, that is heavenly blade. Oh my god. Did you just Oh my god, Laura. Just imagine how much damage she would have did if I didn't motivate first. Just imagine. Wow. That, that's all I'm gonna say on that. There. Ooh! That's a lot of goddamn damage they just did. Let's go! Arcus activate! Oh gosh! Wow! You have my face! Wow! Damn! They hit so They hit so fucking hard. Shit. Jesus Christ. I can't even heal Laura if I wanted to. You have 
up my fence. It's my turn. Arcus activate. Right. So hard. My turn. Strongest student in our year, huh? RC style combat is an even more impressive person than I imagine. <laughs> I appreciate the compliment, but I still have a long way to go before I'm fully proficient in this technique. I'm also quite confident the rest of you are capable of. Huh? What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Does not have much work to do. Come, we should be moving on. <laughs> You're right. Let's crash and it breaks. These cards are special cards which deal immense damage but consume all of the user's CP in the process. At least a hundred is required. This cards can be used instantly by pressing a triangle but regardless of the user's placement in the turn order, that's pretty good. Experts can be highly effective when used at the right time, interrupting enemies and stealing tag boxes that they would otherwise have received via yeah, like crits and stuff. Unlike normal attacks, s crabs are not capable of unbalancing enemies. That sucks. This is also true on critical turns, so determining when best to use s crabs and breaks prove crucial to victory. Each member will acquire his or her own s crab. That's, that's cool to know. It wasn't looking good. <laughs> you just got lucky shit.
taco plate, huh? That's interesting. What's that? Curry about. No, it is. Now's but, uh, our chance. We can do this. My turn. Oh my god! Yeah, my CP and shit. Oh my god! Ah! Uh, Alright. Oh my god. It's my turn. Turn to flames. Burn. Right. I still didn't heal the aura. Are you fucking serious? Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's just eat this crispy pizza. Delicious. Go! She got a CP back too. I Neither one meal in front of the nature park, right? Hmm, that's like doesn't appear to be working. Which means it's, that's probably the one Sam is supposed to be referring to. Check the number one. B2? Yeah, that's the one. Are taking care of our uninvited guests? What? Monsters. Oh my god, jeez. Those lights really work. We need to change that thing quick. Can we entrust the task itself to you? Sure thing, the rest keep. The rest of you, keep the monsters at bed while I make the switch. Oh my gosh. Okay, first things first, I need to input the code to open the maintenance hatch. Pretty sure it was 466515. Do it and open. Well, let's get the new orbit light in place. Hey, 
Thank you so much for your help. Looks like these things finally calmed down. Thankfully. Hard to believe how much of a difference it did those things make. You got that done a record time. Yeah, I was expecting the process to take much longer. Well, it was a pretty simple procedure. Since it wasn't being harangued by monsters the whole time anyway. <laughs> Still, good job. I guess that's a wrap. Yeah, now we need to just report back to Samus. And let us save before anything happens. Mm, that was crazy. So you can just... Is this a farmhouse? Can we rest here? Oops. Hm. Oh, damn, I burned it. It's been rough ever since my daughter left for work. Come on, another month. Hurry up. Come along so I can see your face again. I can't avoid doing the laundry anymore, can I? It's always so busy during the harvesting period, though, so I can't find the time. I'm sure it's really hard. I can't rest. And that sucks. Pretty cool, though. We are. Hmm. It says Lunaria Nature Park. So this looks like a place for this us to like fish. Nice spot. You got damn right. So guess what? <laughs> We're about to save. So hopefully we can catch some different fish. I'm so sick of catch catching that stupid crab and that stupid uh swordtail fish. So hopefully we can catch something new here. I say that we're probably gonna get a whole bunch of sword tails and gray crabs. Oh, hello! Here we go. We got something new. That's what I'm talking about. And what might this be? What even is this? Wait, a crayfish? Wait a minute! Whoa! We had wow. Oh, that's interesting. That is interesting, I have to say. Hmm. 
area seems kind of different from any anywhere else we've been so far. The Naria Nature Park, huh? Seems less like a park and more like a forest. Yeah, it really does feel a little, feel a little out of place sitting smack dab in the middle of farmland as far as I can see. It may have had some religious significance in the ages past. Perhaps it was a place where the animus of ancient time has chosen to enshrine the spirits of the forest. There's a place much like that in my hometown. Yes, there's one in mine too. Did we never say where he's from? Hmm. Who are you? What are you doing here? Um, for travelers really passing through. And who might you be? With the park rangers here. As you can see, the park's off limits right now. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Off limits? Isn't there some construction work going on or something? Something like that, yeah. That's what's sad. It's off limits, so get lost. We've got things to do here. What's with the attitude? As uncouth as their warning may have been, we should still turn back. If this area is indeed off limits, we're trespassing. Yeah, it's not like we have any urgent business here. Good point. Come on, let's go. Although, I'm, something about this still feels a little off. Ooh, hello. Don't stop me from getting this chest, though. Keep the church, too. Not bad. How about it? Don't use that on your boy. Cause we kind of need it. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Yo, that was close. So let's talk to Samus. Hey there, I take it the job's done. It is, allow us to give you a detailed report on it too. We have the old Orgman light here too. Thanks, I'll get this fixed up so it can be used again. Glad you're all safe after dealing with those monsters though. They were hardly a threat. <laughs> we did take the request knowing it would, could be dangerous after all. The military academy kids really are a tough group. Oh yeah, can't forget to give you your reward now, can I? Detection. Hmm. So is that like, are you sure we could just take one of your cores? Of course, you did some solid work, you know. Thanks for the help. Feel free to come along whenever you need me. Give your ordinance a checkup. Alright. Undiscovered treasure chests are shown on the mini map. Okay. Like Tails would say. Okay. That's interesting, I have to say. Alright, so let's see if we can do a little bit more before I end the gameplay. Now remember there was somebody in a chapel, right? So we're gonna go see what's that, what that's all about. Exactly, was it? Oh, next door. Cool. <laughs> next door, right next door. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me, are you Father Zerbal? That's correct. And you would be... Oh, I see. You must be the students who will be helping with my request. That's us, Thor's Military Academy. <laughs> I suspected as much. Thank you for taking the time to come and speak with me. I'd like to request that you collect the ingredients I need to make some medicine. Do you have the time to do this request for me? Yeah. We're ready to help. 
My thanks. Can I ask what sort of medicine these ingredients will be used for? It's essentially medicine to deal with the common cold by strengthening it the body's immune system. Many people tend to catch it during spring and fall, when the temperature switches between hot and cold, you see. This is why I ended up running out in the first place. <laughs> that makes sense. I've had to rely on the church for medicine a bunch of times too. Definitely made my life easier. <laughs> Agreed, we owe much the vast amount of medical knowledge the church possesses. We really do, especially since modern pharmaceuticals still can't compare to it. Students certainly know your stuff. But getting back to the matter at hand, there are two ingredients I want you to collect from. First is a medical plant known as a bear claw. What is this? Tales of Hesperia with the egg bear claw? Which grows in humid areas. It's not common to find them growing in Celtic, but you can still get them at the brand market. And there's a drugstore run by a man named Flint. Tell him that I sent you. I'll note that down. The other ingredient no, I need is Imperial Carrots. I get these from a farmer named Paul who lives, we talked to Paul actually, in a farmhouse. We talked to him. Again, simply tell him that I sent you. We should He should share some with you. Jesus Christ. Understood. That should be it then. Is there anything else you'd like for me to go over? No, that's fine. Which of the few two destinations should we make our way to first? This doesn't seem like it'll matter. Yeah, I agree. Well, we'll be off. So, honestly, I think we're gonna go and get the, uh, we're gonna go to the farmhouse first, because it's harder to get to. And then on our way back here, you know, we could, you know, go for the quest. Mina, Susie moved here from Hemdollar a while ago. Jake keeps bullying her, though. Why can't they just get along? Shocking about a double cat or something. Susie. Jake, where'd you put my notebook? I lent it to you so you could do your math homework, not so you could hide it. Come get it if you want it back. Ugh, not again. I'm gonna get really angry if you don't give it back. Uh, I think he might like you, Sue. <laughs> he might like you, Susie. Oh god, not east. Oh god, this is the wrong way. Wait. Oh, never mind. Wait, yeah, this is new. This would be a really tranquil area, yes. if not for the monsters. Yeah, let's be careful. Yep. Be charge. He is protecting that. He's seriously protecting that. You see him? I'm caught. Oh my god, that's crazy. That's crazy. I just knew I was caught. Look at that. What even is that? Oh, baby. <laughs> oh my god. I think it's fast. That's tough. Softening armor. I don't know what that does, but. Ooh. I don't even know where I went. Oh, wait, there's another treasure chest there. Oh, they set me up! They caught us off guard. My turn. Why? Dude, we gotta get out of here. Dude, 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 we gotta get out of here. Let's keep moving. Oh my god, they sent me up. Oxy puppet? Okay. Oh my god, that was, that was kinda hilarious, I'm not even gonna lie. All those people. What? This must be the farm that put out the monster extermination request. Should we go and ask for more detail? Yeah, we might as well. Certainly better than just wandering around blindly till we find a thing. 
Agreed. We're here. So now is as good as time as any to introduce ourselves. So we are on the wrong side. We are on the wrong side, guys. Because I think it was West. It was West. Oh, baby. We're saving this for the next time. I just realized that we're on the wrong side. We have to be. Because when we're not left, that was like East. That was like one of the first things I noticed. I was like, East? What? Yeah, so this is where we were. We need to go to that farmhouse. Now, this is definitely... Yeah. So this is the farmhouse. Alright, and we need to talk to him. Excuse me, would you happen to be Paul? That's right. Who, mu who might you be? We're students from Thor's military academy. Father Zerbo requested that we come here to collect Imperial carrots. Oh, is that so? I'm pretty sure I have set a batch aside for him. Did you wait a few minutes? <laughs> Sorry for the wait. There you go. Alright, wow. I don't think I've ever seen carrots this color before. Likewise, they certainly do seem nutritious, though. Don't they? They're actually rare enough that people present the Imperial family as gifts. Oh my gosh. Two. So make sure you're careful when carrying them back. Understood. Leave it to us. So, next up is Flint at the Grand Market. Yeah, let's head back to town. Can I work with? No. That would have been nice, though. <laughs> that would have been pretty nice. Alright. So, careful mode it is. Press the toggle mode. So, probably while, you know, off camera, I'm probably gonna get these guys scanned and drowned. So, I'm pretty sure we need to do that. I don't know! This isn't Tales of Vesperia where we. Uh oh, wait a minute. What's going on with my headset? There. Okay, so. Right. This isn't like Tales of Experience where I have where you have to like just scan every goddamn enemy in the goddamn game. But uh Okay. Now who was that guy? Who was that guy? Flint, right? And we talked to him. Funny thing about it is, he was an old, he was an old guy. It's not him. Huh. Oh, hello. He's right here. Welcome. Anything specific you're looking for? Hmm. This must be the story that he mentioned. We're here on behalf of Father Zerbo, actually. He asked us to come here and collect the berry cloth from you. Oh, is that so? There you go, then. Thank you, sir. I'm surprised at how thorny this is, though, considering it's a medicinal herb. It's a resemblance to a bear's paws is where it gets its name from, after all. Unrelated, but my supply of them happens to come from Liberal. They were flown in to Hemdollar, where I had them sent along by train. Wow, really? Guess you. Guess it goes just goes to show how much a big deal this market is. Yeah, there really is a bunch of unusual stuff here. The market's popularity is well justified. I believe we've gathered all the ingredients now, correct? Yeah, let's go ahead and report back to you. See if you returned with the ingredients. We yeah. have. Here you are, Father. 
Please accept my thanks. Now I can get back to making the medicine. I'd like for you to accept these as well. Token of my appreciation. Thank you, Papa. Did you happen to make these as well? That's correct. There's not much of it, but it should have come in handy. Thank you for your concern. We'll make good use of these. Good luck with the remainder of your task and may Adios guidance be with you. Alright. So, um, I think we're gonna call that as an episode, guys. Gonna go back to that inn. Hopefully, oh, Sarah's probably gone now, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, she's not. Interesting. Yep, here's our room. We're gonna rest. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode off here, guys. This was definitely a good one. A very good one. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But until then, I guess I will wait a minute. It's my turn. Right. My turn. Yeah. Y'all yeah, already know how I am about girls in games and shit. And I can't believe I haven't done it sooner. But, uh, see ya! We're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here. Laura is a boss. Of course. It seems like if you see a girl with blue hair, she's gonna be dope. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just it, I don't know why, it just comes with the territory. And, um, so yeah! We're gonna go ahead and end the episode off here. And, uh, when we come back... I think we are going to proceed with our next quest, which is, which is the East Celtic Highway Monster. Scary dinosaur, huh? So yeah, I guess that's going to be our next, next, um, thing. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but until then... I guess I will catch you guys later.